Hello, how are you doing? Enjoying the flight so far? I'm assuming this is your first virtual reality flight on one of our helicopters. Why don't you have a good look around with your headset while I tell you a little bit about Repsol. Repsol is an integrated oil and gas company. Our company has exploration and production projects in every continent, boasting one of the world's fastest growing portfolios in terms of production and refining assets that are amongst the most efficient around the world. Over the last five years, we've spent more on exploration per barrel produced than any of our competitors. Okay, as I'm sure you have seen, we are approaching the platform now. We will land now and I can show you around a little. To move forward, just keep your eye on Repsol's logos you'll find around the platform. You will rapidly move towards one. Please try with Some the of logo right will show you information about the key projects that Repsol is operating in today. We propose a challenge. Find all Repsol's key projects and we will take you to an amazing spot. Are you ready? The Carabobo field has been in production since 2012. The Regane project in Algeria is due to start production in 2017 and development drilling began at the start of this year. In Mid-Continent USA, an important development and production project was added in 2012. In Brazil, we have the Sabinor and Lapa deep water oil fields drilled in a challenging subsalt environment. For Lapa, Production is expected to begin by the end of 2016. In Spain, the Lubina and Montanazo fields began production in 2012. In Venezuela, the Cardón 4th project has three development phases, the first of which will come on stream with 150,000 standard cubic feet of gas per day in the second quarter of 2015. We have now arrived at the rig floor. You will see that you have two buttons in front of you. Why not try and push the green button to start the rig operations? Obviously, we don't normally let untrained staff near the rig floor, but the beauty of a virtual reality environment is that we can allow people to explore and learn in such environments without the risk of safety incidents. You may not know this, but in 2014, Repsol operated or participated in the drilling of 34 exploration and appraisal wells, which means that on average, we were following 10 exploration and appraisal wells at once. Sabinoa is a giant oil field which came on stream in 2013. For the south area, the plateau of 120,000 barrels per day 
was achieved in 2014, and the north area is expected to reach a plateau of 150,000 barrels per day by the end of 2015. In Russia, the Arok project, formed by Alliance Oil and Repsol, was initiated in early 2013, and both production and reserves have been incorporated. In Peru, the Quinteroni production began in March 2014. In Bolivia, the Margarita Huayaca project production began in 2012 with Phase 1, Phase 2 in 2013, and we are currently working on the third phase.